Okay, so here I am. I am in Adobe Acrobat. I have that pulled up. I also in, am in Zoom. Um, I do not have a real student on the other end. So you see this little student box right here. And uh, I do have it hooked up to a real computer so I can show you this. Um, but we don't have video on. So that is why the video is off right now because there's no one on the other end. So I um, I'm just going to show you simply how to share a resource. So like I said, um, I have this pulled up. It's an interactive PDF file and it's pulled up in Adobe Acrobat. And now I can go over here um, to hide this. I can go over here um, where it says exit minimal video. And um, I can go right here to share screen. So I'm going to click on share screen and it's going to prompt me um, to choose a a window. So I'm going to choose the one here um, that is the, uh, the interactive PDF that I just showed you. So I'm going to click. So I'm going to go ahead and click that so you can see the blue around it showing that it's highlighted. And then I'm going to come down here to the bottom right and I'm going to click on share. Okay. So once I share that, um, you're going to see this little menu bar come up at the top. If you move away from it, um, it disappears and sometimes you have to go back up and hover right now. It's staying there, but if this just goes away, don't panic. If you go up here where it says the ID number, um, and stop share, if you kind of hover, then, um, it'll pop back up. So now we know that we're sharing our screen. There are some different ways that you can share. Um, you want to, you know, try to get to the sidebar out of the view so you can close it like that and you can share in this way right here um, I'm just gonna show you I'm gonna click down here on next just to show you what this looks like um, whenever you're sharing so you could either give over uh, screen control to your student or you could click for them so it just depends on your student on what you prefer to do but this is how you share your screen. So right now on the other end, what my student would be seeing is this screen right here. Um, there's some different options for the view. Like I said, um, you know, this is pretty sufficient right here, but if you wanted to get rid of this toolbar, you know, you could go the extra step and you could go into full screen mode. Um, what can happen is when you go in, see it says sharing is paused. Um, you would have to stop share and then you can click again on oh, my mouse is being kind of funny right now on share screen and choose this again. Um, so that's not really ideal. <laughs> All right. So the workaround that I found for that little glitch that happens when you share your full screen is to, um, be viewing it just like this. So you're not in full screen mode. You, before you share your screen, you're going to go to view. Nope, sorry, you need to click on that. So um, you'll go to view and you'll move down here until you get to full screen mode. On a Mac, it's also command L. Um, so I'm just gonna go into full screen mode now. Keep in mind, I'm not sharing my screen as of now. So I'm gonna go in there. And now there's this, um, you know, this little box is still here. And I'm gonna click on this little box with the green arrow pointing out of it. When I do that, I can click on share screen. It's gonna be sharing my entire screen um, because I am in full screen mode. I'm gonna click on share screen and I'm gonna select the window that I want, which is this one right here. And then I'm going to click on share. And now you'll see it it's sharing just fine. I didn't get that error about bringing the window to the front or anything like that. So that's just a word of caution um, that that issue does come up, but there's a pretty simple fix for it, which I just showed you right there. So when you are done sharing your screen, you go up here and you hover, um, you can pause sharing if you want to switch to a different resource, or you can click on stop sharing. Um, and in that case, it will end. So I'm going to click stop share, and then it brings us back here. And then you can either end your session or, um, you know, chat with your student for a bit or move on to a new resource. So I hope you found that helpful.